is so bright in here. Oh, hello. Good morning. You can't even see me. I am so sweaty. That was such a good F45 workout. I gotta move so you can see me because this light is blinding. Good morning. Happy Vlogmas. Welcome back to the channel. My hair was clean when I went into that class and now, like, I don't even know. So, hello, today is Saturday. We're gonna have a very normal Saturday in my life. I think I have a hair on me, I hate that. Um, I went to 8 a.m. at F45 today, which was really good, glad I got that going. And then, um, what do we have? We have swim lessons, we have, um, we're doing Thanksgiving dinner at my in-laws tonight, so we're doing a second Thanksgiving. And I think we have a couple errands to run. So that's what's going on today. Very much looking forward to this Saturday. We obviously just came off of Thanksgiving, so it feels like it should be Monday, but it's still Saturday, so that's awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get into it. Thanks for being here. If you're new, welcome to my channel. We do lots of vlogs, lots of active wear and athleisure um, and work wear as well. So welcome and let's get into the vlog. All right, we are rushing out the door per usual. I feel like we always underestimate um, how long it takes us to get out the door for a swim. I always think like, oh, I have so much time and I never do. So. I just threw on a little bit of glow screen, a little mascara, my skin's not great, but it's just gonna have to do. I did rinse off in the shower real quick. Um, also some rogue lip. I did rinse off in the shower, but I'll shower again later and I was not gonna wash my hair, um, but I got so sweaty in that class that I think I'm gonna have to wash my hair later. So I'll have to show you my outfit later. I'm wearing an all Lululemon outfit. I'll show you when we get home, but we have to get out the door and I want to make a coffee before we go. So let's go. All right, tell the vlog what we're getting. We are getting the hat. And I don't know if you've ever been to Southern California and been to... Is it Southern California only? I think so. Southern California, the hat restaurant. But they have some of the best pastrami dip, if not the best pastrami dip sandwich ever. And I have been getting a chili dog here ever since I was a child. Yes. I like the pastrami, but I just, if I'm gonna come here, I really like their chili dog. But, Danica asks, what do I want for lunch? And I'm supposed to work out, but we always come to the mall and we always drive by the hat. And I never, because and I Danica always, always feel sick says, after this. We're not having that for lunch or dinner. We're getting a sweet green salad. And I always have to give in. I'm not saying that the sweet green salads aren't good. I love the sweet green salads. Caesar kale, add extra <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan crisp, crisp and onion. And add onion for you. and uh, medium dressing. It'll change your life, guaranteed. But we have a sweet green here. We have, what else do we like to get here? I mean, we just have so many good restaurants here. And not that the hat isn't good. I love the hat, but like you have to be in the mood. And I know if I eat this today, I'm always in the mood. if I eat this today, I'm gonna have a stomach ache. I'm gonna feel- But you already worked out today. I just, so I need good nutrition. Yeah, you're getting the protein my from body. the chili. And the chili dog. And so the vegetables anyway. from the onions and the relish. And then to top it off, if I get a chili dog, if I get chili, I can't have water. I, like 99.9% .9 of the time, well, I'm either drinking water, coffee, or like wine usually, but usually I'm drinking water or coffee. I don't usually drink much else. I'll have like a poppy here and there, like occasionally, but like I'm almost always drinking water. And I told Josh, if we get chili, I have to have this soda with it. So it's just like a, what is it called? Like a spiral? What do you call it? Like a rabbit hole? What do you call it? I'm sorry, Paul. What do you call it? What are you getting to eat, James? We're gonna see who's gonna eat the cheeseburger. So anyway. This guy. We're gonna have this for lunch. I'm gonna feel yucky, but we're gonna enjoy it. Because yes. we never do this. 
Right. We never have this. When was the last time we had the hat? When we lived with your parents, we got it a lot because your dad loves it. Yes. <laughs> when we lived there during COVID, we, we they were also- I'm always down for the hat. I'm always down for a cheeseburger. Uh, I'll eat cheeseburgers every day. For I'll lunch. eat a salad every day. For lunch. Yeah. Trans fats. <sighs> Okay, so we're in the hat. Yeah, we just drive through talked line. To them like we just two seconds we just ago. were talking about how great the hat is, <laughs> and this is what happens when you Thank choose God, we went to, to the bathroom before. when you choose to go to the hat on the weekend. There is three cars ahead of us in the in the drive through lane. There's no way to get out. There's a purple Dodge Challenger, no Charger, SRT. That you turn down your tablet, it's too I'm loud. I'm pretty sure ran out of gas. No, they did. Well, they tried doing the gas. I don't know what else is wrong with this car. There could be something else wrong with this car. And it's not moving. And we're not moving. But we went to the bathroom before. We all did. We already ordered. Yeah. This is crazy. Is that the manager talking to the owner of the car? I don't know. Car? All right, here's my super healthy lunch with my glass straw from home because I hate paper straws. Let's see yours. Look at the house is a mess because Josh was in charge this morning. <laughs> oh my God. So this is our loft space and we used to have some storage bins kind of like over there and James basically broke the bins. So when I was homesick with COVID, I went through the bins and kind of like organized everything and then I left a pile of things I wanted Josh to go through to make sure like if he wanted things I mean we have things like his pictures from what is this oh this is high school oh first my dance. god our first dance together in 2009 so anyway um yeah we needed to go through some of this stuff because this is where our second Christmas tree is gonna go what's this Oh yeah, from grad school. So there's just like a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, those are my certificates. Just keep those, I guess. But James is helping us shred stuff. And then um, we'll have our second Christmas tree over here. Last year we didn't have this thing. Um, so we had our Christmas tree in that corner, but now we'll have this. Um, we'll have it here. But anyway, that's what the boys are doing right now. All right, so it's a little while later. It's about like after five o'clock and um, we're gonna go over to my in-laws and I decided to wash my hair. I think I talked about this earlier that I wasn't gonna wash my hair today, but because of how sweaty I got at F45, I decided to wash it and I haven't worn it curly um, since I cut it recently. And I cut off like, I don't know, like three or four inches. And whenever I cut my hair, um, it usually like curls more. So I'm wearing this like rugby inspired sweatshirt. I'm not sure how I feel about the color right now. I feel like just cause like my hair is not done and my makeup's not done and stuff. I kind of feel like a wet dog, but um, I forget who was wearing this. I saw somebody wearing it and I thought it was so cute. So. I decided to pick it up. Um, I thought it was kind of fun with like the uh, stripes. And it's from Hollister. It's like a men's um, rugby sweatshirt, I think. And I think this is in a size medium. So just really quickly, I wanted to mention like how I do my curly hair routine. Obviously you're not gonna see it like fully done until later and honestly we'll see how it looks. but. I haven't worn my hair naturally curly for a while. So basically what I do is I wash my hair in the shower, obviously, and I left some conditioner in. So just like a little bit towards the end so that the ends are a little bit more weighed down. My hair is frizzy. I mean, it's already like frizzing up on top. And then usually people say don't brush it when you get out of the shower, but I like to brush it a little more so just to like get my part. And honestly, when I wear it curly, I usually part it to the side, so I probably should have done that differently, but like I said, it's been a while. Um, and the shampoo conditioner that I use is by, it's the pattern one. Um, I forget, it's like the intense hydration. And then I have this pattern um, leave-in conditioner, and I like this one because it's Palo Santo leave-in conditioner. 
I just like the way it smells. So I'm gonna use that and I kind of just like scrunch my hair a little bit. I also took my microfiber towel and just kind of got some of the water out of my hair as you can see. And then I'm just taking this because this is what I have but any like serum or oil will work. This is the Colleen Rothschild um, hair serum and I got this one a while ago. So I like it doesn't really matter but I'm gonna take like a decent amount of that and kind of just like scrunch. I really just do like a lot of scrunching and like I said, my hair is fine, so it gets like really frizzy, so I kind of have to weigh it down a little bit. I know some people like, they just can let it air dry and it's totally fine, but when my hair air dries, it's like a lion's mane. <laughs> um, so I can't do that. And yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm feeling this shirt right now with I think just because my hair is wet maybe I'll switch into my skims um one my skims little fleece maybe I'll do that instead um also I realized that I didn't uh show you guys my outfit earlier because we were so distracted by our lunch I'm also just putting a little bit of oil on top because like I said my hair gets super frizzy um I was wearing the Lululemon Adapted State Joggers, but the fleece version, and they were so cozy. I felt like I was in sweatpants, but it looked like nicer. And then I also was wearing the Lululemon All Align Mock Neck, and then I had my Lululemon Wonder Puff vest on and my Lululemon Bliss Feel shoes. So I literally had an all Lululemon outfit. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch out. I just don't like the color with like my wet hair right now. Um, so I think I'm gonna switch this out and put on that Skims like fluffy cozy pullover. So let me switch that out real quick and then I'll just throw some hairspray in. Okay, so I like this pullover a lot better. It's still like a similar vibe, but I just feel so much more cozy in this. It's just like a, um, like a little button up and I really love it. I got this last year from Skims. Um, I don't think this is available anymore. I have this in black and obviously this white color, um, but they did come out with like a, buffalo plaid like check one for the holidays which is really cute i got that in the crew neck um and it will be in an upcoming skims haul i have that coming up during vlogmas so stay tuned for that i did just first i put on some mascara my skin is not great right now and we're just gonna be there for a couple hours and it's just family so i'm like i'm not gonna put makeup on my skin i'm gonna let it breathe um so i just put a little bit of mascara on and i just put some living proof hairspray in i really like this and then i did just want to mention that like if i were going out and wearing my hair curly like i don't really care how it looks um tonight because if it dries funny like whatever but if I'm trying to like make it look nice, I will use these products. I love these Briogeo products. I have the gel and the leave-in conditioner and I'll use these as well. But tonight I just used like leave-in conditioner, oil and hairspray. And you can see it's a little frizzy, but like this is kind of my natural curls. I wear it straight and like heat styled so often that I feel like um, the first time that I like wear it like this, it doesn't like know how to respond also I feel super pale I need to put on some more of my tanning drops I'm like where are they um so maybe I'll put those on tonight and then lastly I just threw on these Ana Luisa earrings last I checked my code was still working it's the Vent Mom Lifestyle 20 for 20% off and I love these twisted hoops these are my favorite I did a collab with them a little while ago and these are the my favorite ones that I got I wear them all the time so anyway um I'm gonna throw on some of my road lip tint and we're gonna head out it's like i said it's just after five almost 5 30 now and um we're gonna go over there have dinner probably hang out till like eight o'clock and then come um home josh and i will probably put up the second christmas tree and then he can decorate it with james tomorrow or like we'll all decorate it but like i don't need to do that you know i don't need to be involved in that so <laughs> anyway um yeah let's go to my in-laws all right we're back home um, I didn't get any clips at my in-laws because one James was being wild and um, we were only there for like a little bit because my father-in-law had to go to sleep early and all this kind of stuff I am switching out my what do you call this bath and body little air freshener hopefully the camera will stay there um, I just put 
tis the season in. Sorry, it's really dark in here. I don't know why I didn't turn on the light. I had this one, you can't even see. I had one in for fall and I'm gonna switch it out and put in, how do I open this guy? Cute. All right, let's go back inside. It is literally pitch black in here, but I just switched it out. This was my fall one. This was like a pumpkin one. I feel like, I don't know. I've heard people say like that those things don't work. Did I turn off the light in there? I have to make sure. Um, I've heard people say that they don't work, but I didn't have a problem with this one. Okay, and then when I was putting away all of the um, bath and body stuff, I had had these ornaments in that like my candle cabinet. Also, where are my other scissors? <laughs> I'm gonna use James's scissors because I think my scissors, Josh just washed them. So I had a couple other ornaments that I got at Target. I got this one, this Aperol Spritz one, which is really cute and fun. They're like actually a pretty good size. It's like this size, um, like, oh my gosh, almost the size of my hand, definitely bigger than the palm of my hand. So I got this Aperol Spritz, which, oh, I see. I'm like, how does this work? What do I cut? I almost cut the string that the ornament is on. So I got this one. These are like $5 at Target and they had so many cute ones. I got um, I got one for my brother for Christmas as well. So lots of fun ones. Don't sleep on the Target ornaments. Yeah. Okay, so here's this one. I'll put this one on. I'm a little nervous about it because I don't want it to break. I think I'll put it up high so James can't get it. I think that's fine. And then in honor of becoming a coach at F45 this year. Also, this is just very fitting for Josh and me, so it's kind of a fun one. I'm surprised we don't have anything like this already, honestly. Ooh, did I just pull it out? I might've just broke it. Okay, so here's the little dumbbell that we got. Isn't this cute? Again, it's like a pretty good size. I thought these were gonna be smaller, but like it's, oh, well, you can't really see. It's almost the size of my hand. Like it's definitely bigger than my palm, almost the size of my hand. So these are really big. And yeah, cute, right? I thought that was so fun. So on this side. Let's see, there's some room over here. Okay, so let me just show you, cause I had showed you my hair earlier. I feel like it actually dried pretty well today. Um, like I said, I normally like to part it in the on the side when I wear it curly, but this is how it dried with all the products. I think it kind of looks fine, like good. I'm happy with how it dried. So I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Are you gonna put up the other tree tonight? Let's see about it, yeah. It's like 9.30, 9.45, so if Josh ends up putting the tree up, I'll insert a little clip at the end, but I'm not sure, we might just call it a night and maybe we'll do it tomorrow. So we'll see. So thanks for watching. Happy Vlogmas Day 2. I hope you're enjoying. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you loved it and subscribe and I will see you in tomorrow's video.